general secret protocols for churches. Church must ensure these protocols are observed strictly. Thermometer guns or thermal scanners are provided for checking the temperature of migrants at entry points of all venues as necessary. Ensure no mask, no entry policy. Three, provision of hand washing facilities with running water and soap and or FDA approved alcohol based hand sanitizer. Provision of adequate waste management facilities, bean scars, bean liners, and single use tissues. Provision of adequate toilet facilities for use by members. Regular cleaning and infection of frequently used communal places like toilet faces, surfaces and frequently touched surfaces such as doorknobs or handles, preferably every one to two hours depending on the rate of utilization. Designate a holding room or area where a person who becomes sick at the premises or at an event can be isolated from others while making arrangements for evacuation. Regular disinfection of venues used by churches, preferably once every month, for example, fumigation and disinfection must be carried out with a very recognized entities. Trained cleaners with the necessary personal protective equipment and cleaning items to clean the facilities regularly and handle waste appropriately. Provide adequate ventilation, that is, open windows to allow for maximum circulation of fresh air. If possible, avoid confined air conditioned rooms. Display approved health promotion materials on COVID 19 advance points to remind congregants to keep to social distancing protocols, wearing of the mask, regular hand washing, coughing and sneezing etiquette. Ensure a no handshake, no hugging and no spitting policy at all time. Follow established evacuation procedures as outlined in Annex 1 to enable evacuation if a congregant becomes sick during the event and has to be evacuated. Form COVID Tax Force comprising of members who are preferably health workers. They must be trained in health promoting prevention measures, infection prevention and control, and evacuation procedures by Ghana Health Service. The COVID Task Force should call 112 or 311 for support to enable evacuation if anyone develops fever, cough, and difficulty in briefing during service. Unwell persons are not allowed to attend church. Older persons and people of any age with underlying medical conditions, heart diseases, diabetes, liver disease, and asthma are advised to stay away from church service. Sharing personal items such as watches, jewelry, pens, and phones should be discouraged. If an individual is confirmed positive for COVID-19, all contacts must be traced and screened. No crowd dancing and waving of handkerchiefs during church services. I hope it's clear. <laughs> Sanitize microphones immediately after each use. All who speak and sing in churches, including pastors, Sunday school teachers, singers and announcers, announcers must wear face masks during service. Discourage singing in groups. Pre-recorded songs or solos should be used. Pre 
pre-packaged pre -packaged communion bread and wine should be picked up by members at the point of entry. Pre-packaged communion bread and wine should be picked up by members at the point of entry. Place offering bowls at the entrance and exit points for members to give offerings and tithes when entering or on their way out of church premises. Encourage such transfers via mobile money or mobile banking as forms of giving offerings. In observance of social distancing protocols, laying on of hands should not be allowed. Spend at least five minutes of church time to educate church members on COVID-19. Provide separate sitting areas for the aged and for families that are together. The church is encouraged to mobilize resources to help individuals in need, including offering health facilities.